It's very difficult for a police officer on the streets at time to make a decision when they find an illicit substance, a powder, in somebody's presence to determine what that substance may well be. Uh, the technology that the police uh, will be announcing today in terms of its rollout within the New South Wales Police Force will give police in the field that instantaneous uh, result in terms of determining uh, the source of the drug that they have in front of them, the, the type of drug that they have in front of them. And of course, for police out in the field, this is an invaluable uh, piece of equipment uh, to have available to them through specialised officers throughout the New South Wales Police Force. Uh, I, I think one of the more exciting things also that the uh, Deputy Commissioner has indicated to me this morning is the way we'll reduce the backlog in relation to forensic identifications by virtue of the fact that it gives a certification, which means for police the protracted dispute going through uh, the court matter, leading up to a court matter in terms of the, uh, the type of drug that they're dealing with, this scientific device uh, satisfies to a court standard the type of drug the police are dealing with and it therefore gives greater incentive for the offender themselves to seek an early resolution to the matter rather than see subsequent testing uh, taking some period of time and of course the matter being dragged through the court system for some period of time. Uh, the instantaneous result that this scientific device gives of course will be not only a benefit to the police but therefore also a benefit to our court system. I'll now hand over to Deputy Commissioner Byrne. Well, thank you. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate the newest addition to the capability of the New South Wales Police Force in the form of mobile drug detection devices. And what we are seeing here now is the coming together of science and technology which will enable the New South Wales Police Force to have a much uh, better improved service in relation to the analysis of drugs and, uh, and matters that go through our courts. Uh, the device that you'll see is, its, its attraction is its mobility. What it does is it has a, a low level laser and the, the laser is put on the, uh, the sample, the, the, the sample of the substance that we have and that sample, the attributes of that sample are then compared with a, a library that is contained in the device of illicit substances and cutting agents and if there is a match, if the attributes of the sample match the attributes of uh, a, a, a drug in the device then that drug, uh, the prohibited substance or the cutting agent will be displayed on the device. Now what this does to us is it means that we will have a significant capability now to roll this out to our field police and as of yesterday we commenced a trial in Newcastle where we now have our crime scene officers trained and accredited in the use of these devices. So as of yesterday, they will be able to now analyse drugs then and there in situ in the field and they will be able to produce uh, certificates uh, that will be able to be used um, in court in initial proceedings. Um, now this is for a particular class of drugs that are suitable for presumptive testing. And this also means, though, that this accounts for the majority of the drug tests that we uh, are required to do analysis for. So the benefits are there for the field. Once we've rolled this out fully in Newcastle, we'll continue to roll this out throughout the state, as we now have acquired nine of these devices, which will mean that we will have a capability across the state in field offices with our crime scene officers. So, that, that will mean for us um, uh, saving in time. Our officers will no longer have to convey the drugs to the drug laboratory. They will no longer have to wait until analysis are, are done whenever that might be. Um, they can get it then and there. And we are seeing the benefits uh, already. We've already rolled this out since December in our drug laboratory here in Sydney. And we've been doing presumptive tests and we can now say that for presumptive testing we now have a zero backlog. So the officer takes the drug to the laboratory and that day they, uh, they walk away with a presumptive test that can be served with uh, a brief of evidence that can be put before court. The other advantage is that now that we will have our police assisting in the analysis of drugs is that for those drugs at the uh, drug laboratory that are over a certain amount, ordinarily a trafficable amount, the scientists at the, at the Forensic and Analytical Science Services will be able to concentrate solely on those uh, drug analysis, which means 
We are now making inroads into a backlog that we have had accruing for some time. So as of September last year to now, we've reduced the backlog by over 1,000 cases, which is, a, which is a fantastic effort by all involved, and we expect that the entire overall backlog will be zero by July this year. And from then on, we expect um, a maximum 28 turnaround for all drug analysis. So this will improve the way that we are able to analyse drugs, um, have drug certificates for court, and then uh, destroy the drugs as well.